When David Martin uncovered the remains of a long dead pigeon in an old chimney at his home in Surrey, he quickly realised this was no ordinary bird. Well, what we've got here is the breastbone, which is the first piece that came down the chimney. We then have the pigeon's head. Then the last leg that came down is this one with a red capsule on. Now this red capsule unscrews and inside the, uh, the sp central spindle is wrapped a message on a, what I can only describe as a cigarette paper with the secret message inscribed upon it. Did you have any idea what it was? Well, I knew it was, other than that it was a secret message and that it was an army pigeon service, which, you know, apart from that, no. The bird was without doubt a homing pigeon. Their wartime role involved flying messages when radio silence was vital. And this is the message Mr Martin's pigeon was carrying, a series of letter groups in classic code, meaningless to the untrained eye. Almost as intriguing as the secret message is the mystery of why the pigeon ended up in Bletchingley. Where was it flying from? Where was it going to? And why didn't it finish its journey? One theory is the bird was carrying a vital message on D-Day from the Normandy beaches to the secret code-breaking centre at Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire. If it came from Normandy, it could have been injured in a shell blast uh, and was losing blood or lost some feathers and couldn't fly any further. Bletchley Park, for many years one of the great unspoken secrets of World War II, is now a museum. The trustees are keen to put the pigeon's message on display. But the code still hasn't been cracked, so it's been passed to Bletchley's modern-day successor, GCHQ. If the message is, this is a training message, we're running out of baked beans, I mean, I'm not very, you know, it's amusing. But if it's uh, uh, relating to something in the war, or actual combat or, or, or a message from the French resistance, then very interested and quite excited. Mr Martin first tried to interest the authorities in the coded message when he found the pigeon's remains 30 years ago. But Britain was at war with Argentina over the Falklands and GCHQ apparently had other priorities. Simon Harris, London Tonight, Bletchingley.